My name is Shauna Shapiro, and I'm a professor at Santa Clara University in the Counseling Psychology program. And I'm a PhD clinical psychologist and therapist, but I focus mostly right now on teaching and research. And I'd say my main area of interest is mindfulness and mindfulness meditation. It's really evolved. I think I began um, with an interest in how does mindfulness affect health and how can it reduce suffering. And so a lot of my work was with women with breast cancer, teaching them mindfulness meditation as a way to help them cope with the illness and, and hopefully enhance their healing, both in terms of mental well-being, mental well-being and also kind of their physiological healing. We looked at natural killer cells and uh, different biomedical markers and that was really extraordinary and really um, humbling actually to be working with these women and then when I came to Santa Clara I began working in the counseling psychology program training students to be therapists and what I recognized is one that there was a lot of stress and suffering in these students that they were getting all stressed out about kind of saying the right thing and doing it well and um, they were missing the human connection and in the literature, what it shows is that the most important thing for healing is the relationship, is empathy, compassion. And yet in graduate programs, we don't really teach that. We say, you know, be empathic, be compassionate, but we don't teach them how to cultivate it. So I started teaching mindfulness meditation to the students as really a skill to deal with their own stress and to help them be more empathic. And so a lot of my research is focused on can you teach it, how is it best to teach it, you know, does it work. The first thing that comes to mind is this idea of wholeness, that I really see health as much more than the absence of illness, and um, really encompassing all of, of who the human being is. So, you know, the body, the mind, the spirit, the soul, the heart, the family, the community, the culture, um, our earth, how we're connected to it. And I really see all of these systems as being very interdependent and interrelated. Well, I think it's really important to ch take charge of your own health and to make time for it. That's one of the things I teach the healthcare professionals, the physicians, the nurses, the therapists that I work with, is that we have to learn how to care for ourselves in order to care for other people. Um, as I, I shared yesterday, my mentor taught me that the heart pumps blood to itself first before pumping blood out to the rest of the body. And if we don't do that, you know, if the heart doesn't do that, it will die and then the rest of the body will die. It's called The Art and Science of Mindfulness, Integrating Mindfulness into the Helping Professions. I co-authored it with Linda Carlson, who is an amazing professor at University of Calgary. And it really, I, I tried to make it as broad as possible. It really spends a lot of time talking about what is mindfulness, really, in as simple yet nuanced way as we could. And then it talks about how to integrate it into any kind of helping or healing profession. So anyone that's working with another human being, um, be it a teacher, a physician, a therapist, how can you bring mindfulness into your work personally to take care of yourself? And then professionally in, in terms of really cultivating the skills that are essential for the healing relationship, such as presence, empathy, compassion. Um, and then at the end we really talk about we focus a lot on the research, on the neuroscience, the psychological and physical health, and then we talk about expanding this paradigm of research to really look at the farther reaches of human potential. How can mindfulness and meditation help us cultivate higher states of consciousness, greater generosity, compassion, creativity, emotional and social intelligence, that, that the focus shouldn't just be on does it reduce blood pressure and reduce anxiety attacks, even though that's important, but also Kind of how can we really take this to the next level of evolution? Take charge of your health today.